top 10 shows like Bridgerton on Netflix. As far as great period dramas go, Bridgerton checks all of the boxes. You may want to keep the party going after watching all eight episodes of the Netflix series. The only problem is, season two of Bridgerton isn't coming out for quite some time. Knowing that we've compiled a solid list of historical dramas we know you'll love to watch in the meantime. But before we start, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Black Slate Studios. Number 1. Vanity Fair Born to poor parents, Becky Sharp, Reese Witherspoon, has always aspired to be a member of England's upper classes. Leaving her boarding school and best friend Amelia, Ramol Lagari, behind, Becky associates herself with the Crawleys, eventually falling in love with their son, Rodden, James Purefoy. Their marriage is happy at first, but deteriorates when Rodon's future dwindles. Becky is then supported by the lecherous Marquis of Stein, Gabriel Byrne, whose motives are less than pure. Number 2. The Great The Great is a follow-up to Bridgerton, particularly if you're into the unexpected humor of Bridgerton. The series comes from screenwriter Tony McNamara, who previously proved that period pieces could be fun with his Oscar-nominated script for the film The Favorite, and follows a young Catherine the Great, Elle Fanning, as she's shipped to Russia to marry Peter III, Nicholas Holt, and ultimately overthrow him and rule on her own when her fantasies of a royal good time are crushed. It is not as steamy as Bridgerton, but it is a whole lot funnier especially Holt, who shines as the spoiled doofus bro emperor. Number 3. Dickinson If Bridgerton was your first binge of a period piece that's been unstuffed from the rigid stuffiness of the typical old-timey drama, then Dickinson is like a direct wormhole between today's millennials and the 19th century author Emily Dickinson. Emily, played by the wonderful up-and-comer Haley Steinfeld, has aspirations to become a famous writer, while her traditional parents, Toby Huss and Jane Krakowski, prefer she settle down and be a housewife. The timeless story and era-appropriate clothing and sets are injected with a modernity through present-day music, full-on blasting tracks, not the undercover string quartet covers that Bridgerton did, and dialogue, pretty sure they didn't say stoked back then adding a fresh coat of paint to a genre otherwise reserved for the olds. Also of extreme importance, Wiz Khalifa appears as Emily's obsession, death. Number 4. Poldark In this film version of the British miniseries, set in the 19th century, the Poldark family is plagued by both new and old problems. Ross Poldark, John Bowe, who started a family with his servant Demelza, Mel Martin, must leave his home to fight against the French. The family must also protect themselves from George, Michael Atwell, the head of the Warligan family, with whom the Poldarks have long-standing issues. Meanwhile, Clowens, Kelly Riley, must decide between two romantic paths. Number 5. Gentleman Jack Another period drama about love in 1800s England, HBO's Gentleman Jack thankfully shows an alternative to the heteronormative romance and sexuality that dominates many of the other shows on this list. In a stirring performance, Serene Joan plays Anne Lister, a real historical figure who was a prominent landowner and industrialist. She also happened to be a lesbian and courts her fellow landowner, Anne Walker, Sophie Rundle, while recording the courtship through a series of cryptic messages that only she can decode. Number 6. Gossip Girl In the same way that Clueless is a wholly modernized remake of Jane Austen's Emma, so too is Gossip Girl basically the mid-aughts version of Bridgerton. There's an ensemble cast of characters causing scandals and falling in love, all encircling a core family-like group of friends, and all documented by an anonymous gossip monger. Number 7. Harlots Taking place just a few years before Bridgerton, and in a decidedly different part of London, Harlots follows a brothel owner's struggles to single-handedly provide a better life for her daughters. The series places women at the forefront, during a time in which they were all too often shunted to the sidelines, and also takes a clear-eyed and empowering view of sex work, normalizing and destigmatizing the oldest profession. Number 8. Downton Abbey the beloved Crawleys and their intrepid staff prepare for the most important moment of their lives. A royal visit from the King and Queen of England soon unleashes scandal, romance, and intrigue, 
leaving the future of Downton hanging in the balance. The series takes place a century later than Bridgerton, but is just as jam-packed with society scandals, historical references, and a blunt take on the inherent classism of the British aristocracy. Number 9. The Pursuit of Love the Pursuit of Love is a three-episode miniseries written and directed by Emily Mortimer that stars Lily James and Emily Beecham as cousins and BFFs who come of age between the world wars and drool over boys together, despite their wildly different personalities. Like many period pieces recently, especially Bridgerton, the story follows the adventures of the charismatic and fearless Linda Radlett and her best friend cousin Fanny Logan. Consumed by a desire for love and marriage, they both seek out the ideal husband. Number 10. The Cook of Castamar The show on this list that's probably most like Bridgerton, on paper at least, is this new Spanish series, The Cook of Castamar, which debuted on Netflix in July 2021 after airing in its native country earlier in the year. Both shows are set in the days of wigs and extravagant dresses, and both are awfully frisky with lust the preferred hobby of its wealthy, privileged characters. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. For more such amazing videos, hit that like button and subscribe to Black Slate Studios. Also, comment down on your favorite movie or TV series.